of ISIS. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Bakhu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. Welcome to Andoron for real this time. Also, Mandalore's here, so I get to spend like five minutes leveling him up because he has to level up a lot. So, Mandalore can only wear Mandalore's armor. It's good armor, but it just totally destroys his dexterity bonus. Then again, he's never huge high dexterity, anyways. So, Mandalore, he's got treat injury and awareness. You can also give him demolitions. That's what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna give him demolitions. Feet wise, he's got all the power stuff armor, heavy weapons, well, blaster rifles. He also has close combat, which is kind of useful for him, I guess, but whatever. I'm gonna cut this out now. So he grew all the way to level 16. His constitution is 17, his strength is 16, he has master, lots of stuff, and improved conditioning and close combat. Also, he has that uh, repeater that we found on Duxon. Yep! So this is Onderon. Pretty nice planet, I guess. Hey, a green crystal. I totally needed that. There's a bunch of stuff we can do here. Pretty sure we can actually switch party members over here, too. So I don't know why the game was acting all like, you know, you can't and you, you can. At least for most of the areas here. Well, since you've docked here, hey? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Could be. Now space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched. And the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly if I were your friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Certainly. Mind what I said about the starport visa. I know one captain already can't get back into the starport. Yeah, we got a visa. And apparently they're kinda useful, so... Gee, I wonder if we were to find a spare one or two that we might be able to do something with them. Hmm... Well, we need to go find Dagon again, so... Let's start doing that. I guess. Well, there is some stuff we can do in here, too, but... Yeah, I guess we can check that out first. There's a guide on there with some monsters, or... Well... Some beasts. Also, like, everybody here has face models from people you could pick, which is neat. And a merchant. <laughs> Interesting sales pitch. Really. Like, you suck. Buy my stuff. So here's his stuff he's got, it's, you know... He actually has some good weapons, which is nice. Including this thing, Chark. It's a unique disruptor. And it's ridiculously expensive, so I'm not gonna buy it. Because I can't. Also, hey, the Roddy Do Strike on fire is back. Yay, and then the guy caught my gloves. And also Zerka Defensive Gauntlets, which are actually kind of useful, because they just straight up give you a defense bonus, which is nice. I don't know if I'm going to get anything, because I don't really want to buy his stuff. Nah. It's good stuff, but I'll pass. Well, I guess we should check this out. Probably. Yeah. 
Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are Talosian merchant? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos. The Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. The Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos. But the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked. We have stopped gathering. So that's what that smell is, huh? Yeah, that's uh, this place must smell pretty nice. Well, let's go. Calm, calm. What? Run! The bomber is out of control. Oh no, it's not tame at all. Let's murder it horribly. Quick, use beast trick. Maybe it'll be useful. Nope. Alright, let's just kill it then. So hey, Mandalore's in a fight. But it was too short to explain how he can fight. Oh well. I, I don't know what to say. I heard stories. I assume that they were fledgling riders, or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beasts grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts, as... as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. <laughs> like I was in danger. I'm never in danger. I'm too awesome to be in danger. Come on. So let's go into the city now, for real. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? I don't think your business is any concern of mine. Although such a way is tempting, I would caution against it. Small surrenders lead to greater ones. While you're at it, tell him to forget he ever saw us. Could be useful. Not only is your business not my concern, I can't seem to remember why I'm holding you up. You should probably go about your business, whoever you are. Oh, uh, don't lose your Starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. God, Handmaiden, we're trying to be discreet here. Really, I think she would know that. Jeez. What's going on over Let's here? Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, sir, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I I'm just a journalist, not a spy. What? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground.
This is just because I try and expose the web of lies that... Enough out of you! Perhaps this traitor is more of an agent provocateur, sent by the Republic to sow dissent in our ranks. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-world. I have the... wrong man. Yes, you heard me right. We have the wrong guy, so let him go. But watch it, both of you. If I hear even a hint you're up to something, I'm coming back. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of visors now. Eventually, they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Well, Hamane wasn't complaining about that use of the Force. Of course she's not. So, welcome to Isis. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. So there's a bunch of people around here that we can talk to. Like this guy. Welcome Remember him? What must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? You haven't been to Dantooine. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some disagreements. I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. You do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, he's not important yet. He might be later, you never know. Also, there's this guy who sells stuff. Let's see what he's got. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? Jackie Chan. You sound this weird. Good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pretend he isn't here. He looks just like 80s Jackie Chan. It's freaky. Hey, look, here's some other Zal Shea style armor. Let's buy it, because why not? Also, this guy has some. You see, he's got some good stuff. I'm gonna buy some of it. Hey, another breath mask. Those are always useful to have. Also, the strength D package. That does not seem very impressive, honestly. You know, plus one constitution strength. That's. Other D packages are better than this one, but I guess I'll buy it because it's really cheap. Yeah. So we finally have more Zhao Shea style armor. This is the Zhao Shea neophyte. It's like the Zhao Shea armor. I mean, it's the same style of armor, but it just looks different. See, it's black. And it has a weird-looking dress thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear this. My defense is just higher with robes. It's just That's just how it is. I don't remember why. But whatever, let's go over here. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaklu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given now, we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Yes, you! It is up to each and every one of us to turn the tide, to take control of our future. No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. 
If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. Hey, did you hear? There's political things happening on Onderon. I know, it's so subtle, right? They're not shoving it in our faces every five seconds, right? No, they're not. Well, guess what? I'm quite busy right this person has a side quest that you can do with your dark side. And guess what? It's also been five seconds. So we're going to get more stuff shoved in our face. Yata <laughs> Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatora tayaita ta bosana nansa ta. Dovre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samwana muta. Moga chi norta hirembe wanachi kati mogo ka. Drum pavana karas mangra kalalava dumba kum paile moka. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Yasora ku tuka ulwanji yuma lipa. Shanek ma winbo glelen kwoso baramwe. Da hupa bosa urata go jujutu yoki. Hyata yamba wajiaki yukito tune. Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosana nansata. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Yasora ku tuka ulwanji yuma lipa. Shanek ma winbo glelen kwoso baramwe. Moloda na winki sa toma no kamarundisi makaranti. Kawana bota ayuta tanga kinamatora. Tayaita ta bosana nansata. Tinor krim so... Tul <laughs> Shanek ma winbo klelen kwoso baramwe. Gavadumpa munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Oh. Onderon. Onderon. So we need to go in here eventually. My ramp is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, offworlder. I am Captain Bastuko. I have served loyally in the Onderon military for 20 years. 20 years would mean you were here during the Mandalorian Wars, right? I was a soldier when the Mandalorians took our world and I fought in the Resistance. When we drove them from Onderon, I served on the Wall for 10 years after. You mean after the Jedi drove the Mandalorians from Onderon? The Mandalorians never gave ground to any Onderon soldier. Such of you could be considered treason. Onderon was responsible for much of the fighting during the last days of the war. Without General Vaklu, the Republic would have fallen. General Vaklu is my superior officer, and I respect the chain of command. He kept the Resistance alive when the Mandalorians were destroying our world. The Wall is the barrier between Isis and the Onderon wilderness. For hundreds of years, we kept the city free of beasts and beast rider scum. The greatest honor for an officer is to serve on the wall. Many aspire to the post, but few are worthy of it. I was requested to guard the sky ramp in the merchant quarter. My personal feelings on the matter are irrelevant. I received an order and I carried it out. The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. No civilians are allowed past this point.
There's no chance of that, Offworlder. The palace is locked down tight, and only authorized personnel are allowed in. I... I will let you... No. No, you're not permitted past this point. I suggest you move along, Offworlder, before you test my patience any further. And we need to get in there eventually, but... We can't. Yet. Oh, a dozen guys want to fight us. This shouldn't take too long. Yeah, that was pretty sad. Oh god, a grenade. So hey, Mandalore in a fight. He's pretty good, actually. He's pretty strong, and he's good with guns. And I'm leveling up. It's awesome. Look at this. They are all frozen. And we are barely taking advantage of that fact. Oh well. I'm still powerful. That's actually one of the best things about this game, is that your character becomes really awesome. It's actually kind of... I don't want to say it's hard, but it's kind of tricky to make a bad main character in this game. Unlike some people's main characters in the last game. <coughs> Anyways. Look at me, I have Master Heal and Master Flurry, and also I have Inner Strength. That's the Weapon Master special feat that they have, which reduces their damage. This one does it by 5%. The Sith ones have the same feat, but it's just a different name for them. Also, Mandalore has a bunch of implants that he can use. They adjust his stats or heal him. Pretty useful, actually. As you can see what they do. This one gives him more health. Strength one gives him more strength. He has one that makes him, you know, gives him more endurance. And he has one that just heals him. They're all pretty useful. This for a regular combat and whatnot, it's pretty good to give him the one that just heals him. Or something like that. But, you know, you can experiment. Give him the one that you want him to have or whatever. We're gonna keep moving generation, though, because it's useful for him. We entered the rough part of ISIS just now. Can you tell? Because there's like people with like guns. You see? See? That, that guy doesn't have a gun. Well, there's like blood randomly. You see? That's important. So there's nothing here. There's a droid. And nothing else. Nothing of interest at all. Let's move along now. Twin thugs. And also two, um. Dagon Gent's place. Dagon Gent. Dagon Gent. This place is right here. Dagon Gent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Gent is one of them. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. Who? Gent or Riken? Wait, what am I doing this again? So yeah, Dagon's not here. Unfortunately, we have to do a very long, annoying side quest to free him from being... arrested, I guess. But he has a lab station in his place if you want to use it. Ah, uh, Onderon, you are, you are dull. You are dull, and uh. so there's a cantina down here too. We're gonna be in there for a while, in a bit. Yeah. Also, there's a droid over here that sells items. I guess we could talk to him and buy some stuff. AD, an automated droid vendor. I have in stock a variety of quality droid components. No refunds and no haggling. Do you have any interest in my goods? Reinitializing complete. Greetings. Do you have any interest in my goods? That goes against my primary behavior programming. All items must be sold based on the most favorable market conditions. 1B AD cannot haggle. This is also a part of my primary behavior matrix.
Market conditions all set to zero. All prices now set to base cost value. Do you have any interest in my goods? So guess what? He sells an HK part. Guess what? It's not one that I need. Oh well, we still won't get HK back. I know you're all crushed. But that's enough for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.